Hi teachers, if you're feeling overwhelmed with all this AI and ChatGPT stuff, this video is for you. By the end of these five minutes, you'll learn exactly how to use ChatGPT, how it works, and how you can leverage it as a tool in your classroom. If this is your first time using ChatGPT, go ahead and sign up for a free account using your email, Google, Microsoft, or Apple account. Once you're signed in, you'll be headed to the main interface. First, we're going to cover just what you see on this page. In the front and center, you see three main columns. The first one is the examples column. These are the examples of prompts you can ask ChatGPT in the send a message box at the bottom of the page. In the middle column are the capabilities of this tool, and in the final column are the limitations of ChatGPT. Keep in mind that the answers produced by ChatGPT will not always be accurate and may be biased. Also, the information it's been trained with is only up to 2021. So if you ask it about information or events that occurred in 2022 or 2023, it doesn't have that data, so it wouldn't be able to give you an answer. Next, if you head to the bottom left corner next to your account profile, you'll see three dots on the right. And if you click on it, you'll see the help and FAQ, settings, and the logout button. Then at the top left corner is a button to show or hide the sidebar, and then the new chat button. If it's your first time using ChatGPT, it will already be a new empty chat ready for you to use. There are many ways you can use ChatGPT. The first way you can approach it is like a search engine, kind of like Google. So you can ask ChatGPT a question you typically ask, such as, when was the American Civil War? Then you're going to press the green arrow at the very right, and it's going to give you the answer. Unlike Google, you don't have to filter out through different websites and sources. It's going to give you directly what you asked. Then you can ask a question like, how did it start? And ChatGPT will already know that you're referring to the American Civil War. That's because when you're using that same chat, ChatGPT will already know what you're asking for based on the previous questions that you've asked it. You can also use ChatGPT to solve math problems. For example, what is five plus five? Keep in mind, as you go to more advanced math problems, ChatGPT may not always give the correct answer. Occasionally, it makes errors when performing calculations and thus results in a final incorrect answer. However, ChatGPT can help guide through the concepts to help answer the final problem. Earlier, we've been using ChatGPT to ask general questions, but what's great about this tool is that you can use it to perform certain tasks. This will help save loads of time as a teacher. Just ask it to do something and it'll do it for you. For example, if you're a math teacher, you can use ChatGPT to generate math word problems for your students, and you can be as specific as you want. You can make it for fifth grade students, learning double digit multiplication. You can add a theme. You could tell it that you want 10, 20, 50 word problems and ask it for a solutions key with detailed explanations. And even if you have a typo in your command, ChatGPT is quite forgiving as well. If you are an English teacher, ChatGPT can be an extremely helpful tool for you as well. Yes, students can use it to write an essay, and I'll dive into implications and identifying cheating in another video. But as a teacher, you can also use it as a teaching tool. For example, if you're teaching a unit on figurative language, and some of your students are struggling with the concept of personification, you can use ChatGPT to generate a short poem filled with examples that you can use to strengthen their understanding. And if you don't like that poem, you can press regenerate response and it'll give you another poem. And you can regenerate it as many times as you want and it'll do it for you in seconds. Instead of having to come up with a poem on the spot with five examples of personification, ChatGPT will help you do it. It kind of acts like a personal assistant for you. And if you're wanting to create reading comprehension questions for a text that's been read in class or to prepare students for standardized testing, you can use a prompt like this to be able to generate questions based on any text that you give it. Now, if you're teaching science or any subject for that matter, you can use ChatGPT to explain concepts at different levels. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to explain the Krebs cycle to a kindergartner compared to a sixth grader. Keep in mind, you can be as creative as you want. Say that your kindergartners are currently obsessed with the movie Encanto. Then it can generate an explanation based on the theme of Encanto. And if you're teaching computer science next semester, you can also use ChatGPT to write lines of code. If you're teaching another language, whether that be Spanish, Chinese, French, you can use ChatGPT to translate text and create reading comprehension questions and more. 
So these are just a few examples of ways you can use ChatGPT to help you with your teaching. There's so many more ways out there and I'll be creating future videos that go into specifics for various subjects and teach you step by step how to use ChatGPT to create lesson plans, rubrics, and more. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our free weekly newsletter for more exclusive videos and helpful resources. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.